Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video kind of revolves around three different questions. So here we go. First question, Mr. Hino, do you have a sumo bot program? And the answer is yes, I do. Second question, Mr. Hino, I know the brick only has the capability of having 16 blocks in the program. Is there a way that we can import that into a computer program and thus give it more blocks or change things? The answer is yes. And thirdly, Mr. Hino, what is the default speed on our brick? What percent of motor speed is just the average or the highest that we can put on the brick? We have an answer for that too, so you're gonna have to stay with me. Okay, this is the answer to the first question. We're about ready to start our SumoBot 2 competition, so I send all my students to this paper to know what to program. And they have the option of leaving this as a brick program, or they have the option of doing what this video is gonna show you, to upload this brick program to their computer, and they can make any adjustments, additions they want, as long as they have the following. They have a two second stop, which will allow uh, them to move their hands out of the way so the ultrasonic sensor doesn't see their uh, hand or their arm. They're gonna then spin, and this is gonna allow their ultrasonic sensor set for 30 centimeters to be able to see the other robot. Once they see the other robot, their robot's gonna go forward, and that's when we're gonna get into uh, motor speed. Um, if their robot somehow hits the edge of the board, they're gonna set their color sensor for white um, because our, our uh, sumo board has a white uh, border. It's gonna go backwards. I say set it for one second. They can set it for what they want as long as they don't go you know, back up off the board. And then obviously they're gonna loop this program so it can just keep going and going and going. And that's basically the program. So if they want to add certain things in here or if they want to increase their motor speed, this is how they would do it. So let's go ahead and put this program on a EV3 brick and then we're gonna import this to the computer. So let's go. All right, everybody, I just uh, made this program that the same program you saw on the paper. So let's go through this real quick and then we'll go ahead and import this into the laptop. So there is our stop for two seconds. There's our spin. There's our ultrasonic sensor set for 30. So if you're just wondering if the ultrasonic sensor sees something within 30 centimeters, it will activate our forward. If the robot somehow misses the other robot and gets to the edge, it's set for white. If it sees white, it will back up for one second. And here is where we basically loop the program. So it'll just keep going on and on and on, hopefully until this robot wins. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna import this into uh, the computer. What we wanna do though is make sure we save this. Make sure we save this so that when we import it, we know what file to look for, which brick program file to look for. So I'm gonna name this Sumo, and let's go to my laptop. Okay, everybody, I'm on my Lego Mindstorms EB3 software here. I have my robot plugged in via USB cable. So what we're gonna do is just open up a new project program. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna upload this brick program that I named Sumo. So here we go. You're gonna go up here to Tools. Super easy. You're gonna go to Import Brick Program. And we are looking for Sumo, and there it is right there. Super important that you save it and so that you can find it here as a saved brick program. And then go ahead and click Import. And let's go ahead and close this out. And like magic, it pops up. So here's what we do now is we're gonna answer, 
that other question about what is the default EV3 brick speed and right there is your evidence that it is 70 percent so that's something a lot of people don't know is you know we can increase this speed on the laptop to 100 if you know you're not very familiar with the Lego Mindstorms EV3 software you might not know that so my students who want maximum power will just bump that up to 100 and my other students who don't import this into the computer are just wondering hey why is my robot not going as fast as other folks so there you have it and then uh, some of my students have a medium motor on there so they would you know they can now put this in there uh, just turn this thing on they use it <clears throat> for a drill and other things like that so I'm like go ahead knock yourselves out do what you want to do but now they can add their certain things in there and this program usually doesn't go over 16 blocks but we have other things that we do that it goes you know we do uh, board challenges and their program gets pretty lengthy so this is something I want to teach them so that if they do run out of blocks or you know they just they want to get in between times let's say they want you know 1.1 seconds you know you can't do that on the bricks so you can do that here on the computer okay guys so I'm not gonna demonstrate this program because I'm gonna wait until my students actually start competing so I'm gonna have to do a second part that actually shows this program in action at the end of this video um, but you can see last year's sumo bot um, competition so I'll put a link to last year's competition at the end of this video okay guys so we answered three questions uh, what is the sumo bot program which I showed you um, how do you import um, a, a brick program onto the Mindstorm software so here it is right here and the third question is what is the default speed from the brick it's 70 percent and then we can bump it up to a hundred um, here on the computer so hopefully you found this helpful hopefully you guys have fun if you're doing a sumo bot type competition and I'd love to hear about it down in the comments section okay guys I am Mr. Hino for Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics I'm out <music>